good morning and happy new year to you all my dear children i hope you are all fine and safe isn't it good let's start our max revision okay today we are going to revise the chapters chapter 1 rational numbers chapter 2 integers and chapter 3 factors and multiples okay first three chapters now we are going to revise the chapters rational numbers integers factors and multiples okay first three chapters first chapter rational numbers okay rational number now types of numbers what are the types natural numbers whole numbers then integers now what is natural number natural number means counting numbers counting numbers are called natural numbers this natural number is denoted by capital n what are the natural numbers counting numbers 1 2 3 etc okay then whole numbers what is whole numbers whole numbers means natural numbers with zero isn't it natural numbers with zero that is whole number is denoted by capital w capital w is equal to 0 1 2 3 etc okay these are the whole numbers now integers integers means positive uh, natural numbers and negative num natural numbers with zero the integer is denoted by capital z z is equal to 0 1 2 3 then minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 etc okay these are the integers negative natural numbers and positive uh, natural numbers negative natural numbers with zero these are called integers here positive integers and negative integers isn't it okay now natural numbers we have types of natural what are the types of natural numbers natural numbers uh, first one odd numbers okay Na types of natural numbers what are the types types of natural numbers types of natural numbers okay what are the types uh, first one odd numbers then second one even numbers then prime numbers then composite numbers okay odd numbers even numbers prime numbers then composite numbers what is odd numbers 1 3 5 7 9 etc isn't it now what is even number 0 sorry 2 4 6 8 10 11 12 
we can take four. What are the factors? One, two, four. More than two factors, isn't it? More than two factors. So four is called composite numbers. Clear? What is natural numbers? What is whole numbers? Then integers. Then types of natural numbers. Odd number, even number, prime numbers. Then composite number. Okay. okay. What is rational numbers? A rational number is a number that can be expressed in the form a by b. Here a and b are integers. Then b not equal to zero. What is rational number? A rational number is a number that can be expressed in the form a by b. Here a and b are integers and b not equal to zero. For example, now here minus three. How can you write in here way before? Now here minus three by one. Here what is the numerator? Minus three. Denominator one. Minus three and one are integers, isn't it? Minus three and one are integers. But here what not equal to zero. So minus three is a rational number. Okay. Now what is a irrational number? Can you say what is irrational number? Irrational number means irrational number. Irrational number means yeah, an, an irrational number is a number that cannot be expressed in the form a by b. We can't write a by b form. So that numbers are called irrational number. For example, root 2, uh, 1.4142 etc. What's the value of root 2? 1.4142 etc. Now root 3 is equal to 1.732 etc. Okay. Now here root 2 value 1.4142. We can't write the exact value of root 2. Okay. So we can't determine that value. Isn't it? So these numbers are called irrational numbers. We can't write in the form A by B. Okay. So these numbers are called irrational numbers. Okay. Now, this is rational number, this is irrational number. Now, what is real number? What is real number? Can we say what is real number? All the rational numbers and the irrational numbers taken together. Okay? All the rational numbers and the irrational numbers taken together are called real numbers. Numbers. So, real number, rational numbers and irrational numbers taken together means that is real number. We can say irrational number also, real number, then rational number also, real number. Okay? Representation of rational numbers on the number line. Okay? Representation of rational numbers on the number line. Now, here, minus 1 by 5. Minus 2 by 5, minus 3 by 5, minus 4 by 5. Now, you see here, they are all negative numbers. Isn't it all negative numbers? This is in between 0 and minus 1. Between 0 and minus 1. Isn't it? Here, minus 1 by 5. Minus 1 by 5 means 0 point something. Isn't it? Minus 2 by 5 also 0 point. Minus 3 by 5 also 0 point, uh, 0 point something. We can divide it, we will get the value 0 point some numbers. Here, minus 4 by 5. If you divide means we, 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 we will get 0 point some numbers. Okay? So, these numbers are uh, between, the line between 0 and minus 1. Okay? So, now we can write my here denominator is 5. So, we can divide 0 to minus 1 uh, between we can divide 5 parts. 1, 2, 3, yes, some place. Okay, here 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 
Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Five parts. Now we can divide and eat into five equal parts because your denominator is five. Now here minus one by five, isn't it? Here minus one by five. Minus one by five. Okay, then minus two by five. Minus two by five. Then minus three by five. Then minus four by five. Next one we will get. Uh, will get minus five by five. Isn't it? Minus five by five means one is four five is five one five is five. Minus one by one is equal to minus one. Already we know minus one. Isn't it? Clear? Next one. Operations on rational numbers. Okay. Operations on rational numbers. What are the operations? Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Now we have addition properties of rational numbers. What is the first property? Closer property of addition. Is it closer property? Then commutative. Then third one associative property. Then fourth one additive identity. Then additive inverse. What is the closer property? Q1 plus Q2 is equal to Q. For example, three plus four equal to seven. Is it? Three, four, and seven or rational numbers. Okay. Now we have commutative property. Q1 plus Q2 is equal to Q2 plus Q1. Is it? Now here three plus four equal to four plus three. If you can write in that, we can change the order. We will get the same answer. Here three plus four is equal to seven. But four plus three also seven. Is it? This is commutative. Property. Then associative property Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3 equal to Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. Okay. Otherwise we can write one more um, time. Here Q3 plus Q1 plus Q2. Okay. Q3 plus Q1 plus Q2. Okay. Already we have. Here we can write. Here Q2. Here Q2. Q1 plus Q3. Okay. Now we have Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. Otherwise Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. Otherwise Q2 plus Q1 plus Q3. If you uh, change the order, we will get the same answer. We can take any three numbers. We can uh, change the order. We will get same answer. This is associative property. Then additive identity. Additive identity means we can add with zero. Any one raised number with a zero add with zero, that number itself answer. One by two plus zero equal to zero plus one by two equal to one by two is the answer. Okay, so q plus zero equal to zero plus q is equal to q. Now additive inverse. Additive inverse means plus three. What is the additive inverse of plus three minus three? What is the additive inverse of minus three plus three? Isn't it? So plus three plus minus three is equal to zero. Different sign. We can subtract it. Isn't it? Three minus zero is equal to zero. Three is equal to zero. Now here q plus what is the additive inverse of q minus q? Q plus minus q is equal to zero. This is additive inverse. Okay. In the same way, multiplication property of rational numbers here q one. This is additive addition property. So we have here plus symbol. Plus here multiplication property means q1 cross multiplication sign. Okay, q1 cross q2 is equal to q. Then q1 cross q2 is equal to q2 cross q1. Then here q1 cross q2 cross q3. Here instead of plus sign we have multiplication sign. That is the multiplication associative property of multiplication. Okay. Now, Distributive property of multiplication over addition. Distributive property of multiplication over addition. Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3 equal to Q1 plus Q2 plus Q1 plus Q3. Q1 plus Q2 plus Q1 plus Q3. Okay, this is the distributive property of multiplication over addition. Now here next one multiplicative identity of rational numbers. Multiplicative identity. Now we can uh, multiply by one. What is the multiplicative identity? One. So q cross one is equal to one plus two is equal to q. Otherwise we can take another example. Four 
4 plus 1 equal to 1 plus 4 is equal to 4. Okay? Now, this is multiplicative identity. Any one number we can multiply with 1 means that answer is that number itself. Okay? Now, multiplication of rational number with 0. Now, here rational number is Q plus 0. We can multiply uh, multiplication of rational number with 0 means that answer is always 0. Then multiplicative inverse of a rational number. Now here Q. Q is the rational number. What is the multiplicative inverse of Q? 1 by Q. Reciprocal. Uh, now we can multiply Q and 1 by Q equal to 1. For example, 4 uh, multiplicate. Um, here multiplicative inverse of 4 is equal to 4 by 1. 4 means 4 by 1. What is the reciprocal of 4 by 1? 1 by 4. So, multiplicative inverse of 4 is equal to 1 by 4. Now, we can multiply by the multiplicative inverse of 4. 1 by 4. Now, we can cancel it 4 and 4. Here, 1 into 1 is equal to 1. What is the answer? Okay. So, Q cross 1 by Q is equal to 1. Okay. Ratio numbers as decimal numbers. We have two types. First one terminating decimal. Second one not terminating decimal. Term, what is terminating decimal? Decimals with finite number of digits after the decimal point are called terminating decimal. For example, 1 by 8. 1 divided by 8. 1 by 8 means 1 divided by 8. Isn't it? Now we can write here 1, here again. So we can write 0, then put 1. Here we can add 1 0, we can put the decimal point. Isn't it? Here we can add 1 or 2, 3 zeros. Isn't it? Now here 1 8 is 8. Balance 2. Now second, next to a 0, we can bring down. 2 8 are 16. 2 8 are 16. Now here 4 balance, next to 0 we can bring down. Now here 8, 5, 5 is a 40, 0. Remember 0, what's the answer? 0 0.125, okay? Five number of digits after the decimal point are called terminating decimal. Now here what to the point 1, 2, 5, 5 number of digits. So we can say this 1 by 2 is a terminating Decimal 0 0.125 is terminating decimals. After the point, here, um, finding number of digits. Now, next one, not terminating decimal. We have two types, non terminating decimals, non terminating recurring decimal, then non terminating non recurring decimals. What is non terminating recurring decimals? Anyone? Decimal point, decimal number 0 0.3333. Repeated. This 3 is repeated again and again. Isn't it? So, this type of number. We can write this is 0 0.3 bar. 3 bar means 3 is repeated. Okay. So, this types of decimal number is not terminating recurring decimals. Suppose 0 0.666 etc. Now, or we can write 0 0.6 bar. This, this number is called non-terminating recurring decimals. Okay. The non-terminating non-recurring decimal means here root 2. That is irrational number. Irrational number. Here root 2 is equal to 1.4142 etc. Root 3 is equal to 1.732 etc. Isn't it? Infinite, after the decimal point, infinite number of digits. We can't say, uh, we can't say that exact value. Isn't it? So, these numbers are called non-terminating, non-recurring decimals. Clear? What is the rate terminating decimals? What is non-terminating decimal? What is non-terminating recurring decimals? And non-terminating, non-recurring decimals. Clear? Next one, integers. Next chapter 2, integers. What is integers? Integers are also called Directed numbers. Okay, integers are also called directed numbers. Integers is denoted by capital E z that is 0, 1, 2, 3 and minus 1, minus 3, minus 3, etc. 
negative natural numbers and whole numbers are called integers is it negative natural numbers and whole numbers are called integers okay in representation of integers on a number line this is the number line now here 0 1 2 3 4 k minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 etc is it now here the numbers increasing to the right okay increasing to the right the right side right of minus 4 is minus 3 My right increasing to the right and decreasing to the left. Now here right side minus four minus three. Now we can compare increasing to the right means minus four minus three, which is the greatest number minus three. Minus four is less than minus three. Like this, isn't it? So minus three minus two minus one minus two is greater. Minus one zero zero is greater. Zero and one, one is greater. So increasing to the right and decreasing to the left side. Okay. Operations on integers. Okay. Operations on integers. What are the operations? Addition of integers, subtraction of integers, then multiplication of integers, and division of integers. Already we have learned about the properties, isn't it? Yes. Addition property, then subtraction property, multiplication properties, and division properties. Is it now here addition of integers means we have two rule we have same sign means plus we we want to add this two number plus sign plus means that we can add with that same sign okay suppose we have different sign minus plus plus means different sign means we can Big number minus small number with big number sign. Okay. For example, here minus four, here plus three means now we want to add here different signs. So big number minus small number four minus three is one. Which is the big number sign? Minus. Big number is four. Big big number sign is minus. So this answer is minus one. Okay. Now here suppose here minus four plus Minus three, same sign means we can add, we can add. No need to subtract, we can add because we have same sign. Okay, four plus three is equal to seven. Seven, which is the sign minus, isn't it? Minus sign. So we can write here minus seven is the answer. Okay, same sign means we can add with same sign. We have different sign means big number minus small number with big number sign. This is the addition of integers. Then subtraction of integers also the same method, okay, same rule. Subtraction also. Then multiplication of integers. Multiplication of integers means uh, now here multiplication of integers minus four into minus three. Same sign minus four minus three. Now we can sub multiply four three sa four. Same sign minus into minus plus. Same sign means that is always positive. Okay, positive. Suppose plus four into plus three. Same sign plus four plus three. Four three is twelve. Same sign means we have a here positive. Same sign means positive. Suppose different sign minus four into plus three. Different sign here minus here plus. So that answer is minus. Different sign means always negative. Same sign means always positive. That's all. That is the multiplication and division. Look here, same rule. Uh, division minus four divided by minus three. Minus minus means positive. Plus plus means positive. Plus divided by plus positive. Minus divided by minus positive. Plus divided by minus means negative. Okay, same sign means positive. Different sign means Negative. That's all. Okay. Exercise two point one. Write down the directed number in each of the following. Write down the directed number in numbers in each of the following. Twenty three steps to the right of zero. Right of zero means always positive, isn't it? Twenty three steps to the right of zero means that answer is always positive plus twenty three steps. Right of zero. Plus twenty three steps. Now sixty one steps.
steps to the left of 0. Left side 61 steps means that answer is minus. Left of 0 means that is negative integers. Isn't it? Now, third one. 120 steps to the right of plus 11. Okay? 120 steps to the right of plus 11. Isn't it? Right of plus 11 means how many steps? Here, 120 plus 11. Right means we can add. Isn't it? So, 131 steps. So, that answer is 131 steps. Okay? Now, 83 steps to the left of minus 18. Left side means minus. Isn't it? Left of minus 18. 83 steps left. So, we can subtract minus 18 minus 83. Isn't it? Minus 83. Equal to 18, 83 minus 18. It's minus sign. So, 1, 9, 10. 101 steps. Minus, minus 101 steps. Okay, minus 101 steps. Because this is left means we can subtract. Right means we can add. Okay. Now, second one. How many integers are there between the following pairs of integers? Following pairs of integers. First one plus 9 and plus the attitude. How many integers lie between 9 plus 9 and plus 32? Can you say? Now we can add plus 9 and plus 32. Big number minus small number. Modulus big number. This is the modulus symbol. Already we are learned, isn't it? Now big number is plus 32 minus small number is plus 9 minus 1. This is the procedure, isn't it? Now we will get how many integers will be plus 9 and plus 32. Now 32 minus 9. 32 minus 9 means here 12, isn't it? 12 minus 9, 3. Here 23. So here 23. Modulus value always positive, isn't it? 23 minus 1 equal to 22 integers like between plus 9 and plus 32. How many integers like between plus 9 and 32? 22 integers. Okay. Then next one minus 467 and 147. Now here big number is, which is the big number? Big number minus small number. Minus 467 minus 147. Okay. Big number minus small number. Minus of minus. Isn't it here? Minus of minus. We can subtract it. Okay. Minus 1. Now 467 minus into minus plus 147. 0, 6 minus 4, 2, 4 minus 1, 3. Now we have 320 minus 1 equal to 319 integers. Okay? How many integers like between uh, minus 467 and the minus 147? 319 integers. Okay? Now here, factors and multiples. Factors and multiples. What is factor? Factor of 12 is equal to what are the factors? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. These are the factors. Isn't it? What are the multiples of 12? Yeah. 1, 12 is 12. 2, 12 is 24. 3, 12 is 36. 4, 12 is 48. 5, 12 is 60. Then etc. Isn't it? These are the multiples. This is factor of 12. This is multiples of 12. Isn't it? Prime factors. Okay. Now here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12. These are the factors of 12. Isn't it? So here 12, multiples of 12 means 12, 24, 36, 47, 8, 60, etc. These are the multiples of 12. Okay. Understand what is factor, what is multiples? Okay. Now, 4 prime numbers. What is 4 prime number? Any two number 
we have this uh, only one as a common factor only one as a common factor means that numbers are called co prime numbers that numbers are called co prime numbers now listen here here three what are the factors one and three five one and five here only one as a common only one as a common means three and five are co prime numbers okay now here we need to composite number pair of composite number also co prime numbers okay pair of we need to common uh, we need to composite number also can be co prime number how here 9 and 4 9 also composite 9 composite number 4 also composite number now here 9 what are the factors 1 3 9 what are the factors of 4 1 2 4 now here which is common only one is a common. So we can say 9 and 4 is a co prime numbers. Okay. Now twin prime number. What is twin prime number? Any two prime numbers 3 and 5. That difference of these two numbers. Difference is 2 means. Here 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. Difference is 2 means. These two numbers are called twin prime numbers. Twin prime numbers. Now 5 and 7 also, 7 minus 5 is equal to 2 difference 2. So we can say 5 and 7 also, 2 in prime numbers. 2 in prime numbers. Clear? HCF or highest common factor. HCF or highest common factor. How can you find? We have two methods. Prime factorization method and cross division method. Now prime factorization method, find the HCF of 2520, 2160 and 2808. Now we can use prime factorization method. First 200, 2520 using the method. Okay. Now here 2 table, 1 2 is 2, 2 2 is 4, 6 2 is 12, 0. Again 2 table, 6 2 is 12, 3 2 is 6. 0. Again 2 table 3 2 are 6 1 2 is 2 5 2 are 10. Now we can take 3 table 1 3 is 3. Here 1 is not in 3 table so we can add 1 0. 5 3 is 15. Again 3 table 3 3 is 9. 5 3 is 15. Then 5 table 7 5 is 35. Okay. Now next 2160. 2 table, 1, 2 is 2, 0, 8 to 16, 0. Then 2 table, 5 to 10, 4 to 8, 0. Then 2 table, 2 to 4, 7 to 14, 0. Then 2 table, 1, 2 is 2, 3 to 6, 5 to 10. Then 3 table, 4 3 is 12, 5 3 is 15. Then 3 table, 1 3 is 3, 5 3 is 15. 3 table, 5 3 is 15, 5 table, 1. Then 2 8 8 0, 2 table, 1 2 is 2, 4 2 is 8, 4 2 is 8 0. 2 table, 7 2 is 14, 2 2 is 4 0. 2 table, 3 2 is 6. And 6 to sir 12, 0. 2 table, 1 to is 2, 8 to sir 16, 0. Then 2 table, 9 to sir 18, 0. 2 table, 4 to sir 8, 5 to sir. Then 3 table, 1 to is 3, 5 to sir 15, 5 to sir 15, then 5 table, 1. Okay, what are the prime factors? Now we can write 2, 5, 2, 0 equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 into 7. Okay. Then 2 1 6 0 equal to 2 4 times. 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. Then 3 3 times. 3 into 3. Then 5. Okay. Then 2 8 8 0 equal to. How many times? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 2. 2 into, 2 into, 2 into, 2 into, 2, 3, 4, 
2 into 2, 2 times 3 into 5. Okay? Therefore, HCM is equal to, what are the common factors? 2 common, 2 common, here 2 common, then here 3, isn't it? 3 common. Yes, this 3, 3, 3. This 3 common. Then 3, 3, 3 common. Then 5, 5, 5. Now we can write what are the common factors? 2 into 2 into 2. Then 3 into 3 into 5. 3 into 3 into 5. Now we can multiply. 2 to are 4. 4 to are 8. 8 is the 24. 24 into 3. Now 24 into 3. 4 threes are 12. 3 to are 6 plus 1. So. Now 5. 5. 5 to are 10. 1 balance. 7 fives are 35 plus 1. 36. What is the HCF? 360. Okay. HCF of 2520. 2,560 and 2,880 is 360 is the answer. Now this same question we can use cross division method. Okay, now here we have three numbers 2520, 2160 and 2880. Well, we can take first two numbers. Okay, which is small number that is divisor. Okay, 2160 this is step 1. HCF of 2520 and 2160. Okay. Now we can use here 2520. Only one time. One time 2160. Isn't it? Now we can subtract 0. 12 minus 6 is 6. 4 minus 1 is 3. 360. Now we can take this. Remainder is a divisor. This divisor is a divider. Isn't it? Now here 360 is the divider. 2160 is the. This is 360 is divisor. 2160 is the divider. Now here. Uh, how many times? 360. Uh, 8 means 6 means. 0, 6 is a 36, 3 balance, 6 3 is a 18 plus 3, 21. Yes, 6 times 2, 1, 6, 0. We get remainder 0. So, what is the HCF of 2520 and 2160? 360. Isn't it? Now, next is step 2. Uh, we can find HCF of to the uh, 2880 and 360. Now here which is one? 360. Which is big? 2880. Now 360. 8 times means 0. 6 eights are 48. 4 balance. 8 threes are 24 plus 4. 28. So here 8 times 2880. 80. Okay. Now here, what is the HCF? 360. Therefore, HCF of 2520, 2160 and 2880 is 360. 360. We get same answer. Isn't it? We are using two methods. Clear? What is prime factorization method and class division method? Okay. Now, lowest common multiple on LCM. Okay, lowest common multiple. First, we have two method. First one, prime factorization method. Second one, common division method. Okay. Now, we have find the LCM of 60 and 90. Now, using prime factorization method, 60. We can find all the prime factors of 60. 3 to sub 6, 0. 2 table, 1, 2 is 2, 5 to sub 10. 5, 3 table, 5, 3 sub 15, 5 table, 1. Then 19, 2 table, 4, 2 sub 8, 1 balance, 5, 2 sub 10. 3 table, 1, 3 is 3, 5, 3 sub 15, 
3 table 5 threes are 14, 5 table 1. Now we can write the prime factors in exponential form. Now we have 16 equal to 2 into 2 into 3 into 5. Now we have 2, we can write in exponential form in 2 how many times? 2 times. In the 3, 1 time, 5 also 1 time. Now here is 90. 90 is equal to 2 into 3 into 3 into 5. Here 2 1 time, 3 2 times, 5 1 time. Therefore, LCM of 16, 90 equal to, which is the highest um, power, that is we can take. Here 2, here 2 power 2, here 2 power 1. So we can take this. 2 square into 3 power 1, 3 power 2, 3 square. Then 5 power 1, 5 power 1. So we can write 5 power 1. Now we have 2, 2 times. 2, 2 are 4. Then 3, 3 are 9 into 5. 9, 4 are 36. 36 into 5. 6, 5 are 33 balance. 5, 3 are 15 plus 3, 18. 180. What is the LCM? 180. The same question we can use common division method. Now here common division method means 60 and 90 is arranged in commonly. Okay. Now here 2 table 3 2 are 6, 0, 4 2 are 8, 5 2 are 10. Then 2 table 1 2 is 2, 5 2 are 10. Here 45 is not in 2 table because this is odd number. So we can write that 45 down. Now we can use 3 table. 5 3 is 15. 1 3 is 3. 5 3 is 15. Now here again 3 table. Here 5. Here also 5. Then 5 table. 1 1. Now we can multiply all prime factors. Therefore LCM of 60 comma 90 is equal to 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5. 2, 2 times. Isn't it correct? 3 also 2 times. Then 5, 1 into 1 times. Isn't it? Okay. So this answer is 180. Clear these two methods? Okay. Okay students, we have more exercise problem. Just to revise properly. Okay. All problems just to revise it and take more writing practice. Clear? Okay, we can meet next class. Thank you.